what is going on guys we're back with another video uh today if you notice the environment's different i'm in the back workshop of my parents place and basically what i'm going to go on to talk about and do today mountain bike so i had dropped a video on the free single speed that i built zero dollars i mean it's total hoopty but it ended up working half decent for the most part i had to put a chain tensioner but if you want to watch that video, check it out. It's kind of cringy, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> but today we're going to be working on the mountain bike. We're going to try making it a one by, but we're going to do a budget and do a one by seven drivetrain. I'm usually always one of those hard powering riders. So I figured that this would be more than fine for me because I'm always hard charging. And I honestly only use using my third or second chain ring and those seven gears almost all the time even when I'm climbing uphill I'm just like hard charging I like going fast so what we got we got a new crank I got a square taper I thought about upgrading it to holotech but I figured since my bottom bearing was still good it wasn't worn out go with square taper so I got a square taper and I got an oval chain ring and I don't know if this is gonna bite me in the ass hit or not by going that route for what I have planned but I got a new chain as well, and then I got basically an upgraded, better derailleur than what came. Basically like one step up, like one baby step up. And instead of being the tourney, I got the Altus uh, Shimano derailleur. And then I got a KMC 7-8 uh, speed chain as well. And then, since this is not a clutch derailleur, like every other one by system, I got a chain guide hoping that I won't drop a chain. That's the goal and that's the experiment to see how that works. But since this is fixed in one place, I'm not sure if this oval chain ring will actually end up biting me in the ass or not. So I might have to order an Amazon Prime uh, regular circle one. Janky chain, broken derailleur, out of there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna tackle, I'm gonna undo the rest of the rear der derailleur. I don't have any new cable because I thought this would still be fine. And just total disclaimer to everybody, I'm a total noob when it comes to mountain bikes. I am learning as much as I can and getting really good at it. But I'm going to take this apart, salvage this, take that off, check and make sure that the hanger's not bent. I heard that that's a pretty common thing that could happen as well. And since it snapped off, it might have. So I'll check that. Um, and while I have the rear wheel off as well, I'm going to get in here and clean this up because I'm kind of a clean freak as well. Um, I'm going to do something about this as well. Okay, got the rear derailleur off, or what's left of it. So, all mangled. One thing I had to do though for the cable, is I had to cut off this, uh, I don't know what you call it, eyelet? Whatever you call it, I can't remember. So I'll have to go to my local bike shop and see if I can pick up a couple. Um, and if it doesn't look like I can reuse my cable, then go to the bike shop and see if I can get a cable too. But yeah, got that off. Now I guess next up since I have this, actually I checked out this hanger. Hanger looks good. It doesn't look bent or anything, so that's great. Um, next up, take off the crank. Okay, arms are off, which is good. Now, start playing with this rear derailleur. Take lots of pictures, <laughs> and then uh, see how I can take it apart, I guess. Yeah, this all that runs internally, so. I don't know. Maybe I'll loosen it off, leave the wire hang until I know that I think it'll work good. Okay, got the front derailleur off. A little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> so far, I've only been really good at taking bikes, taking their gears away. <laughs> okay, got a little bit cleaner. So now I'll put the crank on and see if maybe it looks like it'll work and then afterwards attempt the rear derailleur alrighty got the crank on so that's cool it's not tightened all the way down yeah i'm gonna wait till i get all or the rear wheel on so i can put it on the ground and really torque it down good because i mean the trick with square tape is you really want to have it on there good not to the point of breaking but definitely to the point where it's tight so this is good. Uh, next up, I'm going to play around with putting the tensioner on and see if this oval chain ring was a good or bad idea. So this is what I got for the rear uh, 
guide, I guess you'd call it. I keep calling it a tensioner, but I mean a guide. So that's what I got. See how it works. It's supposed to go in the same place as where your uh, front derailleur would be. So I'll get that snugged up roughly. Alrighty. So I played with this uh, guide. I don't know if you can kind of see. It might work with the oval. I only got the oval because it's kind of funky. But we'll see. Might not work. But it might work, so see how that works. Ooh, buddy. Okay. So, got this on roughly. It's not 100%. Well, it is, it's snugged up. So, got that. Make sure the adjuster lined up with everything. It looks like this will work. So, basically what's on this bike before was the uh, tourney, which is nothing wrong with it. I mean, like I said, it's a good entry-level component. And... Uh, other than it's snapping, but honestly, the amount of abuse this thing took, I wasn't even mad. I was actually impressed that it held up this long. So I got the Altus on there, which would be good. So next thing, we'll be getting it all, uh, ran, or get the wire ran, and then start going through the cycle, and then put a chain on, see if all this will work, or if I'm gonna be ordering a new uh, chain ring, I did set the bike down and crank down the torque, or the crank down the crank arms more to try to get them to suck in more for this. Uh, I'm not sure how confident I am in this guide, but we'll see. I might have to move it down a bit. The tire doesn't touch, but it's pretty close, and I have a feeling by the time I burn that tire off completely, put a new one on, it uh, might rub. Alrighty, so mission for today. We are going to throw the rear wheel on and get the chain put on. Then we can run our cable. I watched some videos from uh, Park Tool. Highly recommend them for all of this because I will not explain it the right way. <laughs> Nor will I try to. But got the chain on and everything, and then I can start fine tuning this so it works. Uh, and then play with the guide a bit more. After that, it'll be some drop tests, see if it'll drop it or not before I actually go ahead and take off the uh, front derailleur shifter and everything. Got the rear derailleur all tightened up real good. Rear wheel is on, put it on the ground, made sure that was good. Got the cable on there tight. Got the chain on. This is where I'm gonna leave it for now. I could always take another link out if I wanted, but I figured we'll try that. I gotta readjust this up higher, cause right now it's rubbing it. But I kinda have confidence that this will work. So that's good. But yeah, now it's going to be the painstaking off-camera task of getting this thing actually shifting right. Alrighty boys, so I got it all dialed in, which is good. This looks ugly, so I'm going to see if I can get a little cap or whatever you call them um, sometime this week. But I got her shifting like dead perfect, so I'm happy with that. I honestly hate working on trying to get shifters working. I don't know. It's not the worst, but it's just it's so much time and effort and but we got it working so works good. I got the guide. It rubs the guide a bit right now, but I can't really see myself putting this up any higher. I might play around and see if I can flip this, move this all the way down and then flip this uh, to work as a guide better that way, but we'll see. But basically I got it working real slick. Got one pedal on there, which is good. And the only noise you hear is just from a touch on that guide. But the nice thing about the guide is that this old chain ring only drops down a little bit. So it should do its job actually, which I'm super stoked about. That's awesome. So the only thing left now is uh, pull it off the stand. We'll do a drop test and see if it actually throws a chain or if it looks like it will throw a chain. some more things but looks like it'll work okay guys so I have to do some more adjusting I think I got the, the free wheel way too close to the cassette 
But I'm super stoked that, I mean, from that, it's not a huge drop, don't get me wrong, like that's a, that's a short drop, but I think it'll work. Until I actually take it outside and ride it, and once the snow leaves, then I can actually see how it works. But you know what? I'm super stoked. That seems like it'll work. That ch tensioner seems to keep the chain in place from doing this. Oh man, I'm pumped. <laughs> we're gonna see, have to see how it actually works. But that's where I'm gonna call it for today. Um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from some people saying, why would you do a one by seven? That's totally useless. Uh, why wouldn't you upgrade to a better mountain bike? Why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you do that? Simply because I am cheap. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money either. And it's with COVID going on, it's almost impossible to get a new bike. I looked, like I really wanted to get the Roscoe 6, I think it was. Yeah, the Roscoe 6. Really wanted to get it. But right now, I'm not allowed to leave the province uh, because of work and regulations and whatnot. So... That's not happening, so I can't get a, can't get a new Trek. Uh, but this bike's been awesome, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you all have been thinking about going one by like me, or if you're a hard charger and you just like to go fast all the time, you don't use the three other sets of gears anyways, hopefully this helps. And uh, hopefully in the summer, I can come back to you all and tell you if it did work or not after some hard riding. But anyways... Thanks for watching guys and have a great day.